Hey folks, I'm Rob. I'm the curator here at the Owl's Head Transportation Museum. Today on Gadget Magic, we're exploring electricity. Usually when we think about old cars or airplanes, we focus on the gas engines. But these vehicles require a lot of electricity to work. Without a battery providing electricity to a starter, we can't start our car with just the turn of a key or a push of a button. It would take a lot of work in order to crank these vehicles to life. Electricity also makes our cars safer as they power headlights and taillights. Early cars actually didn't have headlights, so drivers either could not drive at night or they had to use the stars or surrounding lights to guide them. When headlights were first introduced, they were oil powered instead of electric. These lights didn't throw a beam like a flashlight, so they didn't help drivers see where they were going. These were so that other drivers and pedestrians could see them. It took 30 years for the first electric lights to be installed on cars. Even then, they were an option for, that drivers could choose to install on their cars. It took another five years for the wiring and other electrical equipment to become more common on cars. Cars were around for almost 50 years before headlights as we know them were on most cars. Nowadays, there's tons of electrical devices between our headlights and taillights, including radios, computers, air conditioners, and more. But how does all of this work? To better understand electricity, let's head to the Gadget Magic Workshop. Here in the Gadget Magic Workshop, we can explore how electricity works. We can think about electricity like the water pipes in our house. The way things work is your battery or the electric grid is like the big pool of water that serves your home. The wires are like the pipes that come through your house. The tubs, showers, and sinks are like the TVs and light bulbs throughout your house. And then, of course, the faucet handle is like the switch. When everything is, is working correctly, when you open the faucet, the water flows throughout the system to everything that's hooked up to the pipes. And it'll stay that way until you turn it off. Now, if things aren't hooked up correctly, either the water doesn't flow or it's going to leak away before it gets to its destination. Now, of course, we don't use water pipes to move electricity. We use wires to conduct electricity. But there are other things that conduct electricity too, like Play-Doh. Because our Play-Doh conducts electricity, we can use it to make working circuits. A circuit is a loop that the electricity wants to flow through. It's gonna go from the battery, through the black wire, into the conducting dough, through the light, back into the conducting dough, and then through the red wire, and then back into the battery. And it's just gonna keep on doing that until we turn it off. Now, some electricity prefers to flow in one direction, and the same is true for our bulbs. This is called polarity. And the way we see it is that one terminal is longer than the other one. The longer terminal has to go into the side with the red wire, while the shorter terminal goes in the side with the black wire. Now, it can get a little bit hard to tell which is the longer one once you bend it out so that it fits into your dough. So if your bulb doesn't work like this, try turning it around to make sure that the polarity is working correctly. Now, electricity also likes to take the path of least resistance. So that is why we have this black insulating dough between our two pieces of conducting dough. This makes sure that the electricity flows in the direction we want. Without the dough, if you were to hook the same thing up, the electricity might skip right past your bulb and go right back into the battery. So this is why we always use the black dough to keep everything working. Once you get used to this, you can use this to make your own sort of electrical art. You can let your creativity run wild. Just remember to use the black insulating dough to keep everything flowing correctly. When you've done that, make your own project, give it a name, and share photos and videos with me at owlshead.org doughpower. Thanks for joining me on Gadget Magic, and good luck. Thank you.